hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> I'm Peter Fury and uh, don't forget to subscribe to Porky's Corner because I've been a helmet of the month and you need to listen to me. <laughs> yeah? So follow him, yeah? And get the fella some followers up for Christ's sake. He wears his hat on his sleeve, the good man was. So follow Porky's Corner, he says it as it is and uh, you know, I appreciate the helmet of the month, Russ. No problem, thank you very much. You're welcome, mate. Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Yeah, you know, and still. <laughs> <laughs> and I am joined today by Jessica Steele, aka Jessica Hobson, and Ron Lyle. How are you doing, Ron? Good to see you, Russ. You alright, you're looking well? Yeah, I'm in training. In your boardroom. How come you don't wear a suit then in your boardroom? Just to get bored. You can walk it about in this uh, get bored in parker bed. coat. Yeah, but I like to be the, what is it, the king who The blue walk. collar guy. The man who would be king is the man who could still walk about amongst the common man. <laughs> it's fashionable. <laughs> That's me. Listen, Simon Carl dresses like it? this, but Does I'm it? a better dresser than Carl, Simon Carl, and he's not back. You've always got a scarf on as well lately, then I know. Is it because it's cold? Well, yes, yeah, a bit of fashion and a bit of like keeping me Gregory Peck warm. Yeah. <laughs> and it's nice to see Jessica here today come to see Daddy. Yeah, she always puts me in a good mood when Does I she? that little face, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful oh. little face. I know, Just, yeah. I know. And talented. Very talented. But I keep telling her, I've been telling her from being a baby how talented she is. You're living in London, aren't you, then? Didn't you she's done, she's done everything. What? Listen, I've got, listen, you know how much fronts I've got and what mm. I've done. I don't know, I probably wouldn't have got the bottle to have done what she's done. Yeah. And I've got bottles to go and have achieved what I've done in boxing, so like, you know, so she's got something about it. Yeah. How did you get on with Simon Cowell, Jessica? I thought it was very nice. Did your dad fall out with him? <laughs> no. They were nice, weren't you, when we, when we went to meet him? Yeah, I didn't know what to expect, but he was absolute class. What is it? Class act, yeah. yeah it was mm. Is he very camp, Dennis? Well, I thought so, yeah, I thought so, but obviously he's had a baby since and, and stuff like that, so, but I suppose Frank Maloney had babies, didn't he? Yeah. Lower hand to him. Yeah. Uh, they had a bit of flirty banter going on, a bit of flanter, my dad and Simon. Did you? Mm. Oh, so you got on all right then, then? Yeah, but there's not much chance of me turning like Frank did. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it. I, yeah. I, I, like, I like me woman. Can I ask you something about the Frank Maloney situation, Dennis? Because I heard that. Uh, up at your farmhouse there were loads of press and vans from all sorts of TV companies when it come out about Frank wanting an interview with you, is that right? Well, right, Jessica were there at, uh, at one of the interviews at BBC, remember? Oh yeah. Uh, where it was the first time I'd already heard him talk as it's Kelly. Kelly. Yeah. Uh, now, as you know, I've got my dear friend who's not with us now, bless him, uh, who had got this gender dysphoria, so I can understand, I understand a bit of it, but I, I, I look at people, and that's why I mean you get on. You've got your flaws, yeah. maybe I have, but I look at you know, like what, what your heart's like, and yeah. if, I think if your intention's good and you've got a decent heart, that, that'll do for me. So, whether whatever gender you are, it's... Uh, it don't matter, does it? it? Don't, well, it, it don't. It doesn't I mean, matter. I, I find it strange to, 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 to understand, but mm. like I said, I've got a dear friend, and I just can know what I'm talking about. Uh, but he got a massive art and I loved him no matter what he wanted to dress in or whatever he wanted to be. Um, but uh, there's certain people who, whether they're a man or a woman, I'm not, I don't care for because I don't think their intentions are good. Yeah. And that's much as I'll say on that matter. Right, so, but did it shock you about Frank Maloney? It did. It did, because I used to remember him talking like that. And saying, you used to be part it's Frank. You were, <laughs> is that, you used to speak to you then? Yeah. Uh, a character and done great in the game and yeah. one of boxing's characters so uh, mm. I, I liked him but it were, were hard work at times but obviously you know women with their own ones are hard work you never know where you're at with them one minute you, you think well, is it yeah. sunny outside or what 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 side of bed have we walk yeah so but obviously got issues so mm. it were up and down all the time but 
but anyway, that's it. Yeah, so in other words, you and Frank Maloney used to have some screaming matches on phone <laughs> or in person. So, oh, um, I'm a I'm a businessman, aren't I? I'm not I'm not uh, you know I've I've built myself up from nothing, and uh, I just sometimes you get people involved in boxing who ended up getting thrust into the business world, and they ain't got the sometimes the acrimon uh, of of dealing with it, and I just found it I find it sometimes difficult to deal with some of these people because they don't see logic, uh, and 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 I, I think one of the things what I am blessed with is a bit of common sense. Yeah. And then, uh, so, if, if you do a deal, you have to stand on it, and if you lose, that's your problem, but if yeah. you don't, you know, hopefully we, 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 we make on, well, put it this way, I'm, I'm, I have to, to, to be in business, you've got to be a calculated gambler, be a risk taker, to yeah. a degree, but you calculate risk. Sometimes I've took more risk than probably I should have, and I've lost the odd, on the odd deal, uh, but I've won more than I've lost, so if I can do that throughout a business world in the uh, in the boxing or whatever, care to get involved with, then I'm doing okay. I don't think it's money for you now; it's winning, isn't it? You like to win, don't you? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's no, it's achievement, Ross. It's yeah, not, it's, yeah, yeah, it's winning things, and 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 you know what we've got here with Tommy Frank, for example, like I did with Jim and McDonald Stuart Hall, kids like that who, who came to me when I'm on the scrap heap and. Pete Bell, bless him, who, who, who brought mm. Jamie to, to me, said, Dennis, this kid can fire on two domestic losses, and uh, if anybody can do anything with him, I think you can, and I've spoke highly about you, which obviously that were to come from a man like Pete, Pete Bell, it, it uh, speaks volumes. It was awful when we went to see him on Friday, when he sat on his bed with him, and he's dying and that. He is, but he mentioned it? one thing, he said, I've had a good life, but some kids go through the life, and... They've never done anybody any good. Yeah. And whether you you, you pass it twenty year old or whether you pass it eighty, ninety year old, you know, my dad once said to me, and I had me ups and downs with my dad when I was younger, and uh, he went, make make the mark in in Sheffield, yeah. Sheffield term, and and I I think it's like I just has done. She she yeah she's not she's not had a hit record, but she's known she's gone and had a pop. Yeah. And that's why. You know, I respect her for doing what she's done already. Now nah, she's got to fight. She's going to enter into a second career. I wanted to be a footballer or a boxer, but it didn't happen. For me, but I managed to like use what my experience in football and boxing, and create a business around it and 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 spin-offs like where we sat now. Yeah. Um, and you so, make you make parts here, don't you, for Rolls Royce and Aerospace? Yeah. So and. Couldn't you see you doing that? Couldn't you see yourself doing this ten years ago? Oh well, at twenty-one year old, I'd, I'd, I'd failed. I'd had a market store when I was living on my own. Not if I've mentioned this little caravan I lived in. Uh, yeah, I've, I've heard the story. And right. Have I ever mentioned that grail? Ingemals. What I sold to buy a pickle. Terry Curran. So <laughs> I. Uh, so you sold it. You sold the grail to Terry Curran to buy a pickup so I could go. And you got how much of a pickup? Two and a half. 250 quid. Yeah, I no, no, sorry, I, I sold the ground for 250 quid. Yeah. But at 21 year old, I ended up having to go back into rumbling potatoes in in, in, a, in the back of a chip shop <laughs> for 60 quid a week. You're joking, mate. No, I, I did that. I did well, that. you were the best at it, Dennis, as well. Of course, I took pride in anything I do. When I left school, I was going to go into catering, weren't I? So. Yeah. It makes yeah. a lovely steak, Diane. Do you? <laughs> I bet she does. When he makes one. I bet mean, you've got papers for being a chef, haven't you, Dan? You yeah. never tell a book by its cover, Russell. I know, yeah, but I've never seen you wear a pan out, because you always eat out. Well, I've heard the right. I don't always eat out. Oh, right. We have some beautiful meals at home. What you ever cooked, Fanny Adam? I can't cook. Well, you don't Tessa's look, best cooking. You don't look this good eating crap, do you? Yeah. So, hey, I might be a boxer now. Yeah, she's going to be a boxer then. I was more nervous than uh, than um, when she sung national anthem at 15 at the Ricky Ann fight mm. than uh, than uh, than she was. Yeah, brilliant. So uh, moving on then, then to the show. Who's on the show? Uh, obviously, you've got Tommy Frank, who, who we brought from nowhere to fight for a world title against a tough Mexican. Yeah, Tommy Frank's fighting for a world title before Sonny Edwards. 
Oh, I'm a hag. Sonny does a lot of spouting, and uh, I don't mind a bit of that because at some stage I want them two to fight each other, and I, I want them both to earn a lot of money. Mm. Uh, and if I sat down with Sonny, um, yeah, he's got a bit of needle about him and stuff like that, but it's not a bit of edge to him. Yeah, yeah, he's a bit leery, but as long as it's done and. And like I said to you, don't get personal. Yeah. Have a bit of banter, and you're going to wind people up because I won't want you having a pop at me all the time. Yeah. Uh, but as long as you don't get personal about yeah. somebody's family or about some of this person, mm -hmm. it's a great for game because yeah. you've got it in any theatre. Muhammad Ali were the best at it, weren't he? Yeah. Um, in any theatre, in any in any competition, if you can create a bit of pantomime, if you can create a good in a bad day, then you've got theatre. And and maybe Sonny's happy to be the bad guy. Tommy wants to be the good guy. It sells. Yeah. It sells. And if we've got a world title on the line, it should, it'll sell a lot. We better. won't need to flip tables, though, will we? No, no, because uh, it, it, it's good. But there is a there's a lot of obviously um, genuine needle there. Um, because it's because bad, the, it's bad. But like uh, Sonny's got something that. Uh, Tommy wants, and that's going to be a world title, hopefully. But he's got to beat this Mexican first. And Sonny's got to do his keep his end at bargain up on and win a world title. Mm -hmm. well, I think it's a great fight. You know, I think we'll build that up between us, and whether it's on uh, a Warren show or our show or whatever, it, as long as they both get well paid, um, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm willing to do that. Right. So moving on then, uh, who else is on the show, Dennis? Cash Alley. Cash Alley's on the show. Shane? Uh, no. Shane, Shane, she's got a big uh, fight coming up actually. Um, but we've got a smashing central area title and it's, it's the two stables which work together, Blint and Fuki Arjun. You've got Kane Salvin fighting Sufian Armour. From the same stable? Well, they're not from the same stable, they're both trained, but like we are almost from the same stable. With John and us and Glenn and us, it's... Yeah, yeah. so... so in-house fight. But, but in, in their wisdom, the uh, the area of... of uh, the area council's made it for a central area, for the Super Featherweight, so that is a smashing local fight, uh, yeah. local derby. And then yeah. you've got... Uh, Adam Etches has got uh, two or three kids on our show. You've got Matthew Hatton, uh, with with uh, with a couple of his kids on, so um, it's looking good. You've got Nathan, you've got Nathan Owen, who's having his same fight for us. Who's who I think's got potential. You've got Perry Howe, who's, who's the best PR man I've ever I've ever known. I think he even beats Ross the Boss for selling himself. Yeah, and he's he's a great kid, right character. Been in the army again, same as same as Ross. Uh, so we're expecting we've had we've we've had to try and fit and squeeze some more tables in because we've we've sold out the tables. Have you heard out from Ross lately? Yes, pal. Hello, Dennis. She's still knocking me about. Ah, oh, that's personal. <laughs> that's personal. All right. Well, well we've let, got let, a lot of people that for you. Saying that a woman were knocking him about. <laughs> Is that why you said that? No, it's a joke. Ah, well, I think that's personally. If I were Ross, I'd be knocking on your door. No, no, yeah, I'm shaking. <laughs> no, I'm no, I mean, I saw uh, Ross the other day and he, he, he made a fuss. Uh, oh, yeah. And, yeah, and he, gave, and he signed a book. Give me a book and signed yeah, it. Yeah, and we, that's we, brilliant. We, we did it. We, we like it Ross, don't we, really? He's a character, isn't he? Uh, he, know, he's, uh, he knew how to put bums on seats, didn't he? He did, certainly did. So and of course, he's got world so. rank number eight, wasn't he, Dennis? So he deserves respect, doesn't he? He got in there. Commonwealth. And so when he came European to me. European champion as well, wasn't he? He came to me, nobody were bothered about him, and we won a Commonwealth and a, got a number eight in the world. So mm. an another achievement, isn't it? He's done well, Ross. He loves a bit of banter. Uh, so Cash Alley's on. He's going to fight Sandland then, isn't he? Uh, no, I think that's going to be off. You're going to put that on another time? Yeah, I think we're going to put that on in Barnsley uh, on Josh Wales' uh, show because uh, Josh is going to be in a, a lot more meaningful fight. Uh, June, is it June 19th. 19th, is it? 
great venue. Yeah. But well, Barnsley you like it there, don't you, Dan? Mm. Uh, is, yeah. is Ross like going to be... Is, sorry, is Josh, Josh Whale going to be... I just might be on that show. We'll get yeah. it. I might. Singing or boxing? Boxing. Brilliant. Is... What weight? Oh, you're going to be a flyweight or something. What, what weight am I? Are you nine stone? I'd be nine and a half. Lightweight. Lightweight. Uh, is I forgot my line of question. Meant, Josh Whale. Just Josh Whale going. Sorry, go on. I'm ten. Well, you're ten stone. Or she'd make nine and a half. Yeah, she'd be lightweight. That's brilliant. Is Josh Whale going to be in a title fight? Yes. Yes, in June. Yes. It's not a world title though. Maybe. This is what's leading him on. And people have scoffed at. I've just done about this with Richard Towers yesterday, talking about Carl Thompson. Mm -hmm. I love Carl, you know I do. Yeah. Um, so much respect for him, and it's just a shame I don't stay in touch with him because, um, and I'd like to think he's got a, a mutual respect for me because he was the same. People said, oh, he shouldn't be boxing anymore. And his first two or three fights, he looks too bob. Then he goes and does that to Sebastian Rothman. Yeah. And then and he did and David then, A, didn't he? Then did David A and then Adam's Adam Bull's wanting him to fight again in a rematch. I thought it was crazy to say what an intelligent man Adam is. I don't I think probably today, with his mindset today, he'd go, no, we'll bring David back, we'll go and learn and then we'll go and fight Carl again. No, he wanted to get back in with him. The same thing would have happened. Carl were only just getting warmed up. And unless you chin Carl in the first two rounds, you've got problems. Yeah. And David were always going to blow up, and Carl were only going to get stronger. And he and he and he stopped him in I think the fifth or sixth round, were it? Yeah, fifth. Uh, and uh, and he was just warming up, starting to grind the rounds. This is why he will never let it go about the stoppage against Johnny Nelson, will he? No. Because no. we were voted in on it. We we are in the listings. We ring magazine for one of the worst ever. World title stoppages of the of the. Well, when I got to know Carl, wasn't it? Ninety-nine. You don't get to know, and it's when I first met Tyson. At first, I used to think, oh, he's just playing at it, you know, with his body and stuff like that. Then I went and took Dave Allen to spar with him. Uh, over to uh, where it working to? Where Carl Thompson lives? No, no, I'm talking about Tyson Fury and Dave. Oh, Allen. Tyson Fury. No, I'm just talking about mindset, and. Uh, Carl were the same. Unless you work alongside somebody like Carl and you get the, the, the psyche and you kind of get that out of phone call or whatever or, or uh, on an interview, you, you see them work and you see what a will they've got to win. And, and that's what I got from Tyson Fury and that's what I got from uh, Carl. You mean when you took Dave Allen over to spar Tyson when you yeah. had Dave Allen in stable? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I thought, because at first I thought David Aid would probably knock him out. And when I went over and I seen what it were all about, Tyson, I went, David is no chance. And I thought, whatever, however, however he, he, he decides Never to thought, win. Never thought though, did they? No, they didn't, but however he decides to win, or whatever it takes to win, Tyson will win. I just totally, and, I, and, then, I, and then I became a proper believer in Tyson then. Uh, so, and it, like, like I've said to you numerous times, is they weren't a lot broken and that's why uh, I, I don't know what's gone off but uh, I'd love Peter still being involved with Tyson because uh, as you know Peter's my pal and uh, Peter did an interview with me the other day and he he, uh, he basically said that he'd been saying for ages that he was going to jump on Wilder and knock him out stop him bully him and he did didn't he yeah just totally bullied him I didn't know he had that in his locker did you uh, I just, I just, it's sometimes, it's not knowing how to fight, and I, I can still look great on bag now. Yeah. But I'm 57, don't tell anybody. Oh. Um, now, I can't do what I did when I was 20 or 30, but like, I can still look good. It's not knowing how to fight, yeah. it's knowing how to win at Tyson. Know, well, he can fight, but he knows how to win. Yeah. And what, whatever's put in front of him, he seems to be able to fight, and, and they haven't up having to fight his kind of fight. Yeah. He imposes himself mentally and physically yeah. on a kid. Not many others, and I know he's saying I'm one of the greatest that he's been overall, and they were only, I know a bit more, for me, a bit more polished, they were only Muhammad Ali had that effect on the heavyweight division. Mm. Yeah, and he's going to have that effect now, isn't he? Obviously. Well, he has done, and he's, 
Yes. He's on this morning, and he with Piers Morgan and Susanna Reid, him and his wife this morning, Tyson. He's a, he's a superstar, he's a megastar, not a superstar. He's a I've megastar. just been looking on uh, my phone, and somebody sent me uh, Tony Booth from All's putting a show on. With Tyson. In All with John, oh, with John. Fury, an evening with John Fury. <laughs> If you don't like to hear the truth, you'll not you'll not be welcome or something. He says something. Something like that, yeah. Well, I think that that would probably sell, won't it? Yeah, forty five quid a ticket's not bad, is it? Mm. Yeah, it's not bad. And what do you get, pie and peas? I don't think it'll be salmon and lobster, will it? Forty five quid. I like Tony. Well, he's so an opportunity, hasn't he? And uh, well, I know. Oh, he, David then with his debut, wasn't it? With his debut. Tony Booth, yeah, and iced him, didn't he? He iced Tony, did he? Yeah, I him, yeah. He was capable though, Tony, you know. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he, did, he had a good long career, over 100 fights, didn't he? Good kidding. Bad gambler though. Oof, terrible. I bet he could teach Dave Allen a thing or two. Oof. I bet Dave he could Allen's been pulled off at Donny Show, hasn't he, by Sky? I don't know what's happened yet. You don't know what's happened, Jess. She don't know what's happened. I don't, I don't know. know what's happened. Why would they pull Dave Allen off the show over from his house? Mm. It's a strange world. world, isn't it? It's a strange one, but uh, complex character, David. Mm. Um, so I don't know. That'll that'll unfold, won't it? Oh yeah, looks like it will. I heard uh, Tom uh, Little. Yeah. Did you did you pass me that over? Yeah, no, I didn't. But I told you about it. this morning. Yeah, yeah uh, where he's. He, I mean, want, he wants Dave Allen, doesn't he? He wants Dave Allen. He wants I, I'd look forward to that. He wants to fight Cash Alley as well. Who does Tom? Tommy said it in his interview here on IFL. Do you know, Tom's capable, you know. And he's yeah, just yeah, another yeah. one. We saw him in Bulgaria, didn't we? Ah, I, I, I right, like him. He's a character, isn't ah, he? I like him. I like yeah. him. He's, uh, I think he's a character. But it's like a lot of kids, they don't live their life and they don't do it right. And now we, we I just trains alongside Cash. He's doing the job right now, but it's not just physically and technically, it's getting that right, which is massive. Mm. It's getting the psyche right, the mentality right. And like I've just been saying, the one thing that Tyson has got, he's got an unbreakable will. And Cal Thompson had got that. Mm. Clinton in the early days had a will, and it, I said it to somebody else the other day, I don't know who it were. It, 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 it got towards the end of his career, and he, started like negative thoughts came in his mind and I didn't spend as much time with him and it, for me he'd stopped listening and I think I think if we would still had that same mindset we'd be Tavares Cloud and he'd have won the world title again yeah in his last fight he could have he could have won that again mm. are you singing national anthem by the way on Tommy Frank's show I can do there you go Jess on TV and TV what's the uh, what's the TV situation at the moment then it's just we're on Eurosport. Eurosport, right. And uh, BBC iPlayer. So Eurosport and BBC iPlayer, and is that a long-term thing or is it a one-off? Uh, we've put a deal together. So you've got an exclusive with them then, yeah? So we put a deal, so, it, so we, we're very happy uh, with them coming to the table, they approached us and uh, away we go. So as the relationship we've Michael O'Rourke at Free Sports come to an end now. On, on the Free Sports situation, uh, it has. It has, but uh, the I've, I get on great with them lads. Uh, it's just that this were another platform for us to move on, and, and, and it's a bigger audience, and uh, we've been a world tile, but. Uh, Got a lot of respect for them, lads, and I'm sure we're gonna we can we can look at doing something else in the future. So I'd, I'd never say never. It's just that this has come along, and and it suited us. Uh, we've invested a lot of money putting the free with the free sports, mm -hmm. and we've put some smashing little shows on there, haven't we? Yeah, I mean we had seven, is it? I think eight. Eight. Oh, yeah, it's been a couple of years, hasn't it? Yeah. But we've but we've been building, and eight, you know, yeah. with the help of JJ Crumps and my partner Steve, we've um, we've delivered some smashing. Uh, events and, 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 and she were a good fight, weren't they? Yeah, great fight. But and, and if you think about it, what's got Tommy Frank to this position is those shows. Yeah, it's enabled us to do that. So you know, there has been a benefit from doing what we've been, what we've done, and uh, that's one thing I have got a track record of is is producing in it and getting kids at the world level. So yeah, and if while ever I've got that 
hunger and passion for it, I'll, uh, I'll probably keep doing it and achieving it. So if anybody wants to get to the top, more or less like signing get Harry Kane to guarantee you're going to get goals, well, with us, you're going to get titles. Yeah. You get me at world level. You're already at world level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with well, them guns, aren't you, just now? Hey, puncher as well, then, isn't she? Oh, she's a puncher. Yeah, Julian Jackson of the female word. <laughs> I just can't take a punch. Can't you? No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, Vera. It upsets me. Jelly legs. Like, well, it upsets me when I get it on chin and nose, and it hurts, but you think, I can't let anybody see it. <laughs> you, don't, you might hurt inside, but you don't let them see I'm, it. I'm getting better. Right, okay. Oh, that's Go brilliant. It. Uh, so it's 27th of March, yeah. and then obviously after that it's June, isn't it, the 19th, because April and May will be gone. Then June, and then it's Josh Whale, and that could be a world title or one before the world title, then couldn't it? We work, we're already working on that show, Russ. Yeah, I know, yeah. We're putting that, putting that together, and James Russell's uh, putting the card together, so that's going to be a crack of that. And I want that. He's going to end up, well, he already is, leaving a legacy when he does eventually hang his gloves up uh, in Barnsley and on, on his achievements. You watch, there'll be, there'll be a book about Josh Whale. Yeah. And maybe even a film. A, a film. Yeah. yeah. The last film, what we made in Barnes, do we? Come on, Kez. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Red Checker, come on. Yeah. There you I'll are, fetch Josh. your judge round his cocker estate. Yeah. I'll <laughs> fetch your win round his cocker estate. <laughs> win Whale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that story about when they're all in pubs at bar, Gwyn Bale walks in, they'll put their heads down, Gwyn's in. <laughs> is, is that what he said? Who <laughs> told me that? Nah, they get on it. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I, I, I love them all, I think you're right characters. Characters, aren't they? Yeah. But, Dennis, if Josh Whale wins the world title this year, that is some achievement, isn't it? Coming off... Oh, it's, 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 it's an ask. It's an ask, but I won't put anything past Josh now. Is in the form of his life. Yeah. And uh, and you know when a confident fighter and a happy fighter, mm. when they are confident, when they're happy, that's when they're dangerous. Yeah. That's when they're dangerous. And you can look at records, records of what for yeah. DJs. Yeah. And that's what uh, that's what the situation will be with Josh because you look at a record, and, well, whatever, and and then people will mock him and say, oh, Josh Warrington, this out of the world. People said it about Stuart Hall. People said it about Jamie McDonald, people said Clinton. it about Carl Thompson. Clinton. So like, you know, just because they've not got the pedigree of say, such as a Josh or whoever, well, he ended up like, look what he did, they, 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 they achieved the pinnacle. Yeah. Martin Ward for Stuart Hall for a world title in the North East, a North East world title, first time in history. But after just winning a Commonwealth, well, we got him there. Yeah. So why can't that happen? So, who knows? Let's see. Yeah, it's uh, never exciting say never. times ahead, isn't it? Then. Yeah, yeah, we we building, we building. And uh, this is why we love this sport so much, Johnny. <laughs> What's that, Adam? <laughs> that was good, that. Rough, tough, rugged. <laughs> Here's David Allen here, popular from Cunningsboro. Rough, tough, rugged. <laughs> This is why we love this spot so much, Johnny. Are we all right here? Hey. How are we going to get out of here? Uh, you know, I thought I'd tour all game three times. I had a green left hook. <laughs> oh, with that hook? Mick Ward. All right. I had a green left hook at Toro. I fought him three times. It was tough. I had a green left hook. It was way finer. It's good, that. I'm all right. I'm, uh, I'm not exactly that Farley character from Liverpool, but I've got a few of them off to a team. Yeah. I can do two McDonald's, okay? James. Fifteen round fighter, James. Very good, fast. You can run six miles every morning. Fifteen round fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Jim McDonald. <laughs> That's good, that. Yeah, I like that one, Dennis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Touch for that. Can you do Porky Ross? Yeah, I can do Porky Ross. Yeah, I don't like him, Dan. <laughs> He's a slink. Yeah. Craziness, craziness. Hanging out at the back of people. Stub up, it's no good. £25 pay-per-view, they're taking liberties up there at that EIS. 
That's me, isn't it? Mm. But you know my argument on that. <laughs> 2012, 2016, 2020. Why are they whispering in every fighter's ear up there? Why can't anybody just go up there and train? It's wrong. Monopoly. It's supposed to be funded. Yeah, public money, and it's and they've got a monopoly. It's, it's wrong. But I'm sure you're the one to ruffle the feathers and uh, break that monopoly. Yeah. Anyway, what we need to do now, Russ, <laughs> we need, yeah. need to put some energy in into us. So we've got a meeting at three. All right. Down at uh, G Casino. All right then. Come on, let's go. So on, shall we follow? Hit the road. All right then. Jack. Right then, I'll wrap it up then. Thank you for uh, the interview, Dan and Jessica. Keep doing what you're doing, Russ. And we're, we're, all, uh, we're almost at a mill, aren't we? We're there, yeah. A couple of days. Tomorrow, I think. Why don't you get out of Jess just to give you the... Uh, uh, have you got a song which says that when you have something to do with achieving something, we are the champions or what? Do you anything? <laughs> Baby, I'm from New York. <laughs> Alicia Keys. It is her, isn't it? Yeah. We'll work some out. I'm gonna have a we're gonna go out and out sink a few because if you fly me to the moon. Let me sing a lullaby. Let me play amongst the stars. Let me see what spring is like on the Jupiter or Mars. In other words. Your dad used to sing that all the time, didn't please he? Please be true. In other words. In other words. <laughs> I there you go. They'll all be googling Jessica Steele now, won't they, for all them songs she's that sung. talent. Yeah, well, peace out, keep on trucking, get your centre, the March the 27th, Ponds Ford, all you people who keep saying, Porky, I'm hardcore, me. Well, come and buy a ticket, March 27th, Ponds Ford, June 19th. See, I was there. It's June 19th, Barnsley Football Ground, or the Barnsley Metrodome. Metro, Barnsley Metrodome. So it's probably a bit football ground one after, will it, then? That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. So peace out. Shout out Innovation Alloys. Shout out to Innovation then. AJ. Peace out, AJ. <laughs> and, uh, I look like the week glasses. SYPS. All right, that's it. I'm out. You like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PokyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>